All right, everybody. We're here at the Great Gun Show. I just wanted to show you guys something I purchased today. I bought myself a custom built knife from our local Hawaiian knife maker. And uh, this is made with Koa. And you can see all the intricate designs. Look at this. Handcrafted. The blade, the stamping. <clears throat> this is his first edition where his stamp is not perfect. So, I don't know if this might be worth more later, but... <laughs> and it comes with serial number here. Take it out. But yep, yeah, it comes with a sheet. He made himself also. Specification sheet on the handle, the angle of the knife, uh, the weight, all of that stuff. And this is his website. If you guys want to check out his stuff, he's on Instagram also. But yeah. Oh, it's on Wild Nice. Alright guys, support local. Get a knife that will last forever. Yeah, yo. Alright, aloha everybody. Welcome back to the Blue Water Cowboy show. Uh, last... If, if you guys were, if you guys were, uh, if you guys are following uh, to our channel, the last show we did was Kalua Pig. Yes. Kalua Pig. So Kalua Pig was our, our, our last episode. We made Kalua Pig together. And then we went fishing, of course. Um, this episode, for the holidays, what I wanted to do was <clears throat> teach you guys how to make Manapua. So, if you're if you live in Hawaii and you grew up in Hawaii, you know what you know the Manapua truck man, and uh, you know Manapua. Everybody loves Manapua, and Manapua uh, comes in many different fillings, okay, in Hawaii. And uh, it all started back from the plantation days when they needed something to eat, and um, this is what the Chinese brought over. So it's a, it's a steam. A bun with filling inside and you can put anything inside and the typical filling that we put in Hawaii is char shu, kalua pig. Uh, now they do you know chicken curry, they do uh, beef curry, uh, they do sweet and sour pork. You can put anything inside of the bun and you steam it and, 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 and uh, it's ready to eat in about an hour or so. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your own manapua buns or dough the rest is up to you you guys all know that everybody wants to know how you make manapua bread so in this in this episode i'm going to show you guys how i do it okay so here we go so let's start with the, the items you're going to need ingredients is going to be flour your rapid uh rise yeast which you should have if you're following and you're baking with us uh three Tea, no, four teaspoons of sugar, which is the middle one, uh, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one cup of warm water, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the warm water into the bowl, okay? We're gonna add the yeast, because we wanna get it to start coming alive. Okay, so you dump the whole packet in there. At the same time, you're gonna put your sugar, really simple, and then a small spoon, one tape, one teaspoon of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder, scrape off the top. Okay, we got that in there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our ingredients together. We're gonna mix our ingredients together, okay, and get everything all incorporated. Now, the fancy part, you have your flour inside. We got two cups of flour, 
This is only a small batch. It's only going to be for me and pepper pots. So, okay. So if you're going to have people come over, you're going to want to do this about an hour or two ahead of time to uh, get the dough rising. But if you're going to have the grandkids come over, if you're going to have family members come over on the weekend and you want to do something fun, uh, this is this is a good thing to do. So, right now it's a little bit soft as you can see which is fine now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit flour to the consistency because it depends on the humidity and everything it might be a little bit different so we started with two cups of flour unpacked so I'm just gonna add a little bit in just give it a little bit of body so just a little bit like that Get this incorporated in there. Okay, it's nice to turn like a dough, a dough ball. Okay. Now, see, yeah, so <clears throat> if you have leftover uh, uh, dinner from the night before, you know, you got pork adobo or, or, or some, some salty meat, it'd be good to put it, put it, make a monopole out of it. Even, even if vegetables would be good. So, okay, so we got that for now. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, we're gonna let this rise. So it's gonna rise for about 15 minutes. And it's gonna proof because of the yeast. So it'll come up a little bit. And then after we rise, we're gonna pop it and let it rise twice. So okay, let's give it 15 minutes and see what happens. All right guys, so now that we have the, the, the dough ball proofing um, and rising, we gotta wait about 20 minutes. So, guess what we're gonna do? Let's go holo holo, let's go fishing. Yeah, you. Happy Aloha Sunday, everybody. We out. All right, aloha everybody. You got your boy Blue Water Cowboy back in the house. Here we are in this beautiful, happy aloha Sunday. Uh, we're thinking hooking up with a lot of small baby mahi mahi uh, without, throughout the week. At least the, the guys have been, I've been working. Um, also one of my uh, other buddies, uh, uh, Whipsaw and uh, Magic out there. No, Mahalo, Mahalo boat, Alex, they've been catching a lot of uh, uh, small small mahis, some small tunas, they caught a marlin yesterday, so it seems to have fish back in the house, you know, so today uh, the water's really nice as you can see, alright, sorry, I got a distraction, I got a call by George, George just got a, a nice size aku right outside of the H. The H buoy, um, the Honolulu Harbor buoy, H H buoy, and um, so. But we're running towards uh, Ono Lane right now. We're actually at a little deep. We're at th we're at 390. Um, but we're heading towards Diamond Head buoy. I'm gonna see if we can pick up anything over there. The water's starting to come a little bumpy as we take the corner over here. But let's see what happens. Hope everybody's staying safe. Hope everybody's doing well. And uh, I miss you folks. Yeah, you. Oh, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. See that? Oh, we hooked up. We hooked up. Let's go. Oh, double, 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 double. We got two. We got two, boys. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Alright, alright. Alright. Alright, we gotta have a workout.
Oh boy. Ah. What a double. Alright, alright. Alright, what do you need to do in first?
leaving. All right. Two shibis. can see that was that was an awesome day fishing uh went out by myself cut some shibis got enough for uh for dinner uh for me and my family and my neighbor so you know what's funny everybody sees fishing as catching fish right like oh look at my fish i caught up so what 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 pound fish you know what i see fishing as i see fishing as food but anywho because that's what it is for me so uh, the bread, the bread, the, the dough is riced, and uh, we make a little pig on the last show. Okay, so this is one option that you can do with a little pig left over, make manapua. So the pork has been been in the pressure cooker for uh, you know x amount of time, and it has a little bit of salt, it has a little bit of smoke. You know, it's a little pig. Now I need now I need some stuff, some filler. 
from a monopore, I can use it for filler. Okay, I can make it, make it into a sandwich. You know, I can make Kaloa pig and uh, cabbage like I did on the last episode. But this, this, at uh, this, this particular time, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna heat it up. I'm gonna put some of this char siu sauce right in the pot with the pork. So all I'm gonna do is basically season my Kahlua pig, okay? That's all I'm really doing here. Just put a dabble, just a real little bit, like one tablespoon, okay? And then you're gonna put some water in here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna heat up the pork with the char siu sauce. And then you can, you can, you can see. All right, so at, at this point, you can see if, if you do or do not need more char siu sauce. And just looking at the color, I'm guessing that I do. So oh, I'll put a little bit more in. And I'm gonna reduce this down because you don't want watery uh, char siu inside your bun. So I'm gonna reduce the sauce down and then we're gonna pack it into the bun and we're gonna steam it up. Oh, so also what you wanna do is break down these chunks. You got, you got chunks of pork in here. You don't want it solid. Break it apart so you can get some char siu sauce in between there. All right, let's reduce this and see how it comes out. Go ahead. All right, so as you can see, it's reduced down. So what I did was add a little bit of green onions in there. I like it like that. Okay, so it's off, it's off the fire. Look at that. Homemade char siu with Kahlua pig. Ready to go. All right, let's fill them up. He edited. All right, guys. All right, guys. So, things are about to get a little bit exciting here. So, we got that filling, the char siu filling. And then you see the dough. Look. It's ready. All right, so what we're going to do here is we got wax paper, okay? And it's cut it into little squares like this. So we use this for the bottom of the marapua so it doesn't stick to the, the steamer. So this is the weapon of the, the, the tool of choice. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're, we're gonna roll out the, the dough, okay? This is how we're gonna do it. Like everything else, like pizza and everything else, we're gonna fl flour our cutting board. Okay. All right. With that, we're gonna dump the whole roll right onto the mat. Look at that. So airy. That's what we're looking for. Nice elasticity to it. Look at that. All right. Put this on the side. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get it so it's not sticky, all right? We're gonna get flour all around this thing and we're gonna knead it just a little bit, work it in, okay? To where we can use it. Okay, so fold, press, fold, press, turn, fold, press, turn, fold, press, turn, fold towards you, press forward, turn it. Fold towards you, press it, turn it. That's how, that's it, you just do that. Okay, you're gonna do that until the thing starts feeling like a dough ball, okay? We squeeze it about, you can do it any size. This one I'm gonna do just a little bigger than a golf ball, I would say, okay? Go like that, you open it up flat. So you get it up to about this shape, okay? And you're gonna put your filling inside, all right? And this is, this is, this is what makes the whole mana pour. So put good filling and then you're gonna press and pinch it together. That's all you're gonna do. It is not even rocket science, okay? Fold it all together, fold it all together. And pinch it together so there is no seams for anything to come out, 
All right, we put it right on the parchment. Okay, just like that. Okay, so not the prettiest thing at the moment. All right, we're gonna make a bunch of these. Can we put it, can I, can I have the... Okay, so, this is how we're gonna do it, without the steamer. We're gonna get a pot with the lid. You're gonna put the rack on top of the pot. And then, you're gonna put the lid on top of your manapur. We're gonna put a little foil around it, and it's gonna steam in there. That's how we're gonna do it without a steamer. All right, so now we got our little manapurs made. We're gonna let this sit for another 20 minutes and let it rise. And it's gonna poof up a little bit and then we're gonna steam it. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, yo. All right, so it's about 10 minutes and we're gonna see how this came along. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. Oh, okay, okay. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, oh. Can I see? It's foggy. Okay, we got our manapua. Check it out. It's official. Steaming. You're first. Blue water cowboy outlaw, huh? Manapur, what's up? Crack this open for you guys. Sample it out. Ooh, what's up, boys? What's up, boys and girls? Who wants some manapur? Look at that. Real monopole action right here. Okay. Good. Made of myself. What's up? Oh. Action. Monopole. Holiday monopole boys and girls. Mmm. Look at the bread. Look at the bread. Mm. So airy and fluffy. And you know this color pig with the what is that? Char shoe sauce. Tastes exactly like char shoe, bro. For real. For real. Man. Hmm. Did you try the inside yet? Mm -hmm. Together? Yes, Good? Mm-hmm. Happy holidays, everybody. Make yourself some mana pool. Okay? Oh. So another thing, after you steam it like this, you can cool it down, wrap it up in like, what do you call that? Yeah. Cling wrap, some cling wrap, put it in a Ziploc and you can throw it in the freezer. Believe it or not, the manapur you guys eat at 7-Eleven was frozen. 
and they just reheated it in the microwave and put it back up on the shelf for you guys. I'm not kidding. I saw the Micronesian lady tell me herself that's what they do. Even the spam also bees, believe it or not. But anyway, Mick Monopole, guys. Yeah, you. Like, subscribe, support local, guys. Eat fresh fish, and most of all, love one another. Yeah, you. Happy holidays. We'll see you on the next one. Let's go, baby. <laughs>